What problem does the proposed method aim to solve based on the information provided in the paper? The proposed method aims to solve the problem of underperformance of CLIP style models, such as OpenAI's CLIP in text-only tasks due to their struggle to capture richer information in longer texts. The paper highlights that CLIP underperforms in all text retrieval tasks, which hinders applications requiring larger text inputs like text image retrieval and multimodal tasks. To address this issue, The novel approach presented in the paper focuses on contrastive training with large-scale image caption pairs and text pairs. By jointly optimizing for representation alignment of both text image and text text pairs, the model is enabled to excel in both types of tasks. Additionally, the method incorporates a three-stage training approach that includes training for text image matching and text text matching simultaneously, utilizing datasets with varying text lengths to prevent the model from unlearning how to handle long texts. Overall, the proposed method aims to enhance the performance of CLIP-style models in text-only tasks and improve their overall effectiveness in various applications requiring text understanding and retrieval capabilities. How does the proposed method or algorithm work? Illustrate it step by step. The proposed method works through a multitask, three-stage training approach. In stage one, the model learns to align image and text representations by training on text image pairs with short captions and text text pairs. Stage two introduces longer synthetic image captions to the model while continuing training with text text pairs. In stage three, hard negatives are used to further improve the text encoder's ability to distinguish relevant from irrelevant text. This stage also involves training on long image captions to maintain text image alignment. The training approach jointly optimizes the model for two tasks, text image matching and text text matching. By training for both tasks simultaneously, the model reduces the risk of unlearning how to handle long texts, which is a common issue in multimodal models. Additionally, Long AI-generated image captions are added to the training data to enhance performance on longer texts. The three stages of training ensure that the model can effectively handle both short and long text inputs, leading to improved performance on text retrieval tasks and multimodal tasks like text image retrieval and image generation. What are the practical benefits of using the novel approach presented in the paper? The practical benefits of using the novel approach presented in the paper include improved performance in text retrieval tasks, text image retrieval, multimodal retrieval augmented generation, and image generation. The model developed in the paper addresses the limitations of CLIP-style models in capturing richer information in longer texts by jointly optimizing for representation alignment of both text image and text text pairs. This approach enables the model to perform well in tasks involving both short and long text contexts. By training on diverse data sets for different types of tasks and incorporating long AI-generated image captions, the model achieves competitive performance on cross-modal benchmarks like the CLIP benchmark. Additionally, the model's text encoder performs comparably to specialized text-only models on tasks like the Massive Text Embedding Benchmark, showcasing its versatility and effectiveness in text-based applications. The paper's approach also includes a three-stage training method that focuses on aligning image and text representations, incorporating longer synthetic image captions, and utilizing hard negatives to improve the text encoder's ability to distinguish relevant from irrelevant text. This comprehensive training strategy results in enhanced text-text and text-image matching capabilities, ultimately leading to superior performance across various text and image-related tasks. How is the model validated or tested in the study? The model in the study is validated and tested through various tasks and benchmarks. The performance of the model is evaluated on text-only tasks, image-only tasks, and cross-modal tasks involving both text and images. The evaluation includes comparisons with OpenAI Clip, EvaClip, and LongClip VIT B16 models. The model's cross-modal performance is assessed using the Clip benchmark, which includes zero-shot image classification and zero-shot cross-modal retrieval tasks. For text retrieval performance, comparisons are made with other models as well.
the model achieves an average recall at 5 of 85. 8% across all retrieval benchmarks, outperforming OpenAI's CLIP and performing comparably to EVA CLIP. Additionally, the model's text encoder is evaluated using the Massive Text Embedding Benchmark, MTEB, which consists of eight tasks involving 58 datasets. The model competes closely with top-tier text-only embedding models, achieving an average score of 60. 12%, showcasing significant improvements over other CLIP models in text embedding tasks. What results were achieved with the new method in comparison to existing models like OpenAI's CLIP and EVAClip? The new method achieved an average recall at 5 of 85. 8% across all retrieval benchmarks, outperforming OpenAI's CLIP model and performing on par with EVAClip in terms of cross-modal performance, while being trained on significantly less data. Additionally, the text encoder of the new model competes closely with top-tier text-only embedding models, achieving an average score of 60. 12% on the massive text embedding benchmark, MTEB, which is an improvement of roughly 15% overall and 22% in retrieval tasks compared to other CLIP models. These results demonstrate the high performance of the new method, in comparison to existing models like OpenAI's CLIP and EVAClip across text-only tasks, image-only tasks, and cross-modal tasks involving both text and images. What are the limitations or drawbacks of the proposed method according to the paper? The limitations or drawbacks of the proposed method, as outlined in the paper, include the challenge of handling longer texts in text-only tasks. The text image contrastively trained models such as CLIP struggle to capture the richer information in longer texts, leading to poor performance on text-only tasks. Additionally, the model underperforms in text retrieval tasks, which poses problems for applications requiring larger text inputs. Another limitation is the lack of available multimodal multi-target datasets, which results in using different datasets for each class of task, and jointly training for both, potentially impacting the model's overall performance. Furthermore, the discrepancy in text lengths between text-text training data and text-image data can lead to a degradation in text-text performance in multimodal models. Lastly, while the proposed method shows high performance across various benchmarks, there may still be room for improvement in optimizing text-only tasks and addressing the challenges associated with handling longer texts effectively.